on the way to work at the moment. So work, as they call it, like I'm working in FFS, Fitter, Faster, Stronger on Leeson Street. So you take a career break and move into a uh, fitness industry. So nice early morning, nice early start, fresh morning today. Like I have my first person training clients today and I suppose a huge honor for me like to be able to be in that position where somebody like really does trust me to, to change their life. So I'm really excited about it. I'm always walking through the door, there's people here already. Like the atmosphere is unreal and they're talking about like quarter past six, half six in the morning. People are in like working to be better versions themselves. The guys are in coaching the guys in, in the classes. See Brian is in already like working hard on our social platforms, getting all the stuff right. I'm in then, grab a bit of breakfast. I suppose I'm not doing as much as the guys first thing, but um, I need a bit of fuel first. You know, so it, it's a really great atmosphere. You can see the guys all working hard to change people's lives. That's the reason I'm here. Like, it's, like I'm bought into it. It's, um, it's a lifestyle I want to live. We just came in for the morning coffee and um, just ordered there. And uh, the guy in the queue next to me um, just asked me, was I from FFS? It's just random, like, you know, they see the logos on the street, they hear the music, they see people coming out smiles on her face. Yeah, I was just talking about a uh, personal trainer there and, and we do have some personal training options as well so like, if he was open to coming on as a client I'd be delighted to take him as well. I was working in the bank um, and I had been on the nutrition journey. I lost 80 pounds up to like October or that and during the journey I kind of saw the way my life had changed so it kind of all came together I had an opportunity to leave the bank my first thing I did was become a PN coach um, which is the nutrition coach that FFS offer through, through their platform so I, I went and I became PN coach straight away when I finished in the bank um, and then a conversation just happened um, with Rory and FFS and I suppose I really bought into the, the work ethic of the coaches, work ethic of the members. At the time, I knew that at the end of, like when I was qualified and that, that um, if the opportunity was there for me to like take on clients, that I knew I'd like, um, I'd be, I'd be fully bought in like that. It would be, it would be amazing, you know. Okay. Uh, doing a half marathon on the road at the moment. I'm doing a million meter road challenge in six months. So, need to get the meters in. Uh, it's only my second time doing a half marathon. Just trying to beat my personal best. Uh, it's just about focusing on each stroke. When you get to the end, it's, uh, it's tough, but manageable. I see the value of setting goals. And um, I'm working towards achieving them. So, we like for me on the outside, it's a million meter row. But the real deep down thing is about challenging myself. If I fail at something, I don't use the word fail that often. But if something doesn't go my way, I just refocus. I don't let it get me down. I just take it as an opportunity to learn <coughs> and move on. That's the main thing, you know. And same with the members that come in. We don't ask them to to do any specific targets. We give them benchmarks. But as long as they're giving their best effort, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's like under what our benchmark is or over it. As long as it's they're giving their absolute best, that's really all that matters to us. Today. So this morning I had about two to three hours of online programming and little bits of projects and stuff that I had to work. At the moment, what I'm going to do is we're going to go into the gym and we're going to be taking classes. We've one of our interns in the classes, so normally we just have a quick run through how the class is going to run. Um, there's been a little bit of shuffling overnight in terms of people moving classes, and there's a few building alternates, so I'm just amending the class program towards their needs then, and we're going to put up all the alternates here as well. Time management is across all the classes is a big one, um, but particularly at lunchtime, we can't afford to let the classes run over time because people are basically on work schedules, so they can't afford to be going back to work late under any circumstances, so the classes need to run to time. And it's just making sure that uh, the timings, uh, the setup, uh, everything's in place, so that just happens every time. The 
but that means like one increment in the plate going up an extra five kilos, an extra two and a half, you're just trying to do it. If it means dropping down one rung in terms of the bar elevation there, the rest in the same range. We just want you to go a little bit heavier. So you're just trying to I think this is the best place in Ireland to be a PT um, because of the facilities we have, the access to the equipment we have, the access to the coaching we have in terms of experience, the access to the resources, toolkits, exercise selections, um, location, we have an outdoor gym, two indoor gyms, one metabolic facility, one pure strength facility. There's just a, the massive cultural development. So where we started in day one and where we are now and where we intend to be next year and the year after that, it's just constantly pushing forward. It's internal as well. You want to bring something towards the table. You want to be able to say to the team, goes, I have ideas and this is what I want to push forward. This is where I think we, we were going to go. And the team basically takes that on board, combined with their own ideas. And then there's just a constant culture of getting better and getting better and better the whole time. I'm working on a project at the moment um, for a new academy in FS, so um, Dara is actually going to um, just do a quick presentation to myself and Rory. What we're looking for from Dara is like his presentation skills and what, what, like how he delivers to an audience and how he puts together a presentation. If he's going to be delivering consistent workshops to prospective students through the academy, we just want to see his skills and what he could work on before he gets stuck in. So all lunchtime classes are just finished now, so the Metcons were in here and uh, strength and conditioning were down below, so we're just getting set up for the evening, the boards are done, um, so just heading into a meeting with Rory now, a quick catch up on a couple of projects. Uh, hello. Just uh, wrapping up a bit of work on podcasts. So. Nice, uh, is that the Johnny Sexton one? Yeah, just going through the audio over here now, so should be ready to launch it this afternoon. So oh, lovely, good, yeah. yeah, can't wait to hear that. Go on, you have it, you have it, nine, good, one more, one more, one more. Go, 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 go. At Rostin today is in week 10 of a programme. We're working on our first two exercises, our primary strength indicators. So we're using chin-ups and bench press. But we're into volume hypertrophy phase now. He was building up to an eight-week strength cycle. The next four weeks of a 12-week cycle are just all about hypertrophy. So we're going for high reps. We're doing three sets in the chin-ups. He's trying to cumulatively get up towards a 30 rep range. Bench press then, high reps again. We're working on the eight range, doing five sets. And we're super setting that with some mobility, some band pull aparts. So that's the first block now over the next... 16 minutes we're going to do that. Absolutely no rest in the next 16, 20 minutes, pretty much non-stop through. You're looking forward to it, aren't you? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, perfect. Come on, keep going, keep going. Seven, come on, we'll get the last one now. Come on, go, 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 go. Push, 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 push. Big part to the, in terms of like, always trying to have structure around the PTs, but like you got to respect the fact that like you're still offering a service that people want you to be able to have a little bit of flexibility in because their lives need to be flexible as well and that's why they're doing PTs themselves that's why they're not generating a class structure because they need to have that little bit of flexibility and just trying to either in terms of the management of the schedule trying to find the space or make the space for the people that need it and that's a big part of in terms of just managing PT clients going forward just be your availability for them that's why we're just moving stuff there now at the moment Part of my day I get to train where in previous jobs I would have been something to look forward to at the end of the day and the training part is always the favourite part of my day in my previous jobs but now I'm involved in the 24-7 training other people and in terms of doing the training myself and that's why most of us got involved in the first place because we had a love of training first or a love of sport. So, on my schedule now, I have a 15 minute window to have my um, dinner. So I'm ready, I can perform in all the classes that are coming up, and I'll just be good to go. Yeah, but it's like it flies. You know, you wouldn't see, like between like going into training and yourself in the gym, like when you're working in the gym, you can train away. So um, that's kind of breaks up the morning. Um, and then again, like doing something like, yoga or even just doing like stretch and rolling like it's all part of your day it's uh having your meals regularly it's um it just lets you be fairly flexible just before the my client comes in uh, i just wanted to make sure of all the equipment i need for a program like i met the client we went through their fitness test and um their functional movement screen and all that it, like any nervous excitement or anxiety or anything went out the door it was just felt so natural uh, it was just like doing what i love to do is helping someone work towards the goals i don't know it just feel it just went like you know it just felt really good like Six, good hips back. 
Yeah, Imogen's a member in the gym, so Imogen primarily does metabolic condition, to be fair to say. Yeah. So we work on strength to start, but she also has to work on boxing, which is one of the things that we talked about beforehand. So we're going to basically do all strength for about 22 minutes, and then we do eight minutes of interval rounds on boxing. And we've been working up on a program that started off with basic punching bag, and now we're basically doing like sparring, where we're actually moving around. We're hopefully Imogen's going to put in some serious combinations here in a second. So Connor's one of our interns here at the moment. Uh, one of the most effective ways to actually learn to get better at anything is by actually doing it. So by seeing people doing it, seeing the experienced coaches doing it, and then by replicating what they've done on the floor, and then learning from your mistakes as you go along with feedback from us. So the most effective way is actually just get stuck in and start to learn as you go on the job. So that's the way I learned. It's the way that all the coaches have learned to get better the whole time. So in terms of his confidence and his experience and his ability, like every week he's going to get better and better and better. So where he started from day one and where he is now, there's been a big gap. And it's going to get better continuously the whole time. And we develop the same way as well. We try to get better each day as well. That's how it works. Reset those skis, D, so you can see what you can get in that first 20 seconds. And if you're faster than Grace, or if Grace is faster than D. Alright, get set, guys. Let's get back into it. Let's start building that foundation for work again, alright? Studio set up for Lawrence coming in there shortly. I'm going to um, put her through paces for a lower body session, so looking forward to it. Um, I don't know what she has in store, what she thinks she's in store, like, but uh, it's going to be a good session. Like we're going to pack in a lot in uh, in 30, 40 minutes. This is our main session, so our three supersets, like we've done the last two sessions. So we have goblet squats, 10 to 12, okay. So kettlebell, we're going to start up here. So you just keep pushing away. Yeah. We'll do a run just face this way as well. And back to the front back. Uh, finish off the day there, really deadly session with Lauren, she really worked hard, smashed all the targets, like loads of new exercises there that she hasn't done before, and um, like some technical exercises, and like she's there smashing them, like, and like she's pushing herself, you know, where I can see that, like her legs are getting jelly, and she's like, like still pushing herself, I'd love to have some regular people coming through that I can, I can stay working with, like really see their progress over several months, like some people want to come in and do like a 12 week thing to really get ready for a holiday or something, and that's perfect, um, but some people want to get in and they want to incorporate this into their lifestyle on an ongoing basis, and I want to help them through that, like, you know, you become friends with them, you become like a life coach in a way, like, or, you know, and, and and a counsellor and whatever else it is, you, you know about their, what's going on, they'll know about what, what's going on in my life. Um, you're just building that really good relationship and trust between each other and working towards common goals. Um, so that's kind of where I'd love to see it. Um, in terms of working with FFS, like there's loads of really exciting projects, so I'd love to keep working on those, help more people um, become the strongest versions of themselves, like we say. Um, like it genuinely is a great mission statement and like when everyone's working towards that, including the members, like the person training clients, um, and the staff, like, it, it, like there can't be anything but good coming out of it. So, um, works works savage for me. Like. integration of cool down stretches and deep reset breaths and get stuck in basically so the repeatability can get going again the next day. In terms of what we do after this, we have board preparation preparing all the boards for the next day in terms of the class they're going to be, the people that are going to be in them, the alternates they might need. And there's simple things like literally cleaning duties, making sure the whole gym is basically the way we want it to be, the way if someone came in tomorrow morning that it's good to go and there's no extra add-ons they have to do, so basically just that it's good to go. And there's just lock up and a couple of little procedures and then just take care of a few um, kind of app issues and things like that that we need to keep on top of. And then just in terms of one or two little things extra I need to do is go home, basically have my dinner and get ready reset everything to go for the next day just one or two little admin things that I have to do that are still hanging on me once I get them done that I'll be happy but 90% of the day is done 95%